Hello, my name is Stacy Krieger and I am the Director of Administration at Great River School. And so with that job, I do a ton of things behind the scenes. Uh, one of the things I do where I get to interact with students is I am the yearbook advisor. And so I've been doing the yearbook advising with Great River for a few years now. Uh, every year I have more goals to make it a better and better yearbook. And this year uh, we have a big challenge with not being on campus for the most part in distance learning. And so I'm really looking forward to having students join who want to be creative and to to do uh, some unique work with the yearbook this year. And so in this slide that you see in front of me, you see a picture of last year's yearbook, uh, which nobody has received yet. Because of the pandemic last spring, we had to put production on hold of our yearbook so that we could focus on everything that was going on. It was a very hectic spring. And then over the summer, students were taking a break and I was busy working on preparing for this school year so that your book is still not complete. It's getting close and we will be working on that to start out this year. So the second my yearbook team starts working this fall, we will be finishing up that yearbook and then that will get delivered to everybody who has ordered one. Uh, if and then we'll start working on the yearbook for this year. And so that's going to be an additional challenge. And some folks who join the yearbook team may be interested in just getting started on this next year's yearbook, and that would be fine. And those of us who worked on it last year will finish our pages and get it ready to go, uh, last year's yearbook ready to go for everybody as well. So why would you want to join the yearbook team? There are so many good reasons to join a yearbook team. Uh, we really need creative folks creative folks who are interested in design and layout, photography or journalism. So one of the things we work with students when we first join the yearbook is we talk about uh, what does a good yearbook design look like and how, uh, how do you build a page so that it draws people's eyes in and gives them really interesting information to engage with. And so that's some of the tools we use. We talk about the different pieces of the yearbook to uh, put together a good layout and we practice it. And then we look at examples of other schools. Uh, like this one, uh, which I find just pleasing to the eye, and it might just be because it's a lot of blue and I really like the color blue. Uh, however, we can look for examples and see if we want to try to recreate that in our own yearbook in our own way and put our own twists on it. Uh, and so if you're interested in design and layout and graphic design, yearbook might be a good place for you to learn more of those skills and to put them into practice. Another thing that we talk about is photography. And so I admit I am not a professional photographer, though you, if you're on campus, oftentimes you'll see me running around with a camera around my neck. And that is because I'm trying to get as many pictures as I can. So we have options for our yearbook. Uh, you do not have to be an amazing photographer to work on the yearbook, uh, but I do like folks to know how to identify what a good picture is and some of the basic photography elements. And if you were very interested in photography, I'd be willing to help get you set up with some people who do know a lot more about photography than myself. Um, and you can practice those skills as well. Uh, and finally, uh, the third piece about the yearbook is journalism. And so we need folks who are interested in writing, in writing stories about things that are going on on campus, about interviewing stu other students and teachers to get information uh, that we can use to build a yearbook. And also we need sometimes to do surveys and get data like to do the most likely is or who's most likely to move to the moon or whatever we tend to do. And so that's usually a big team brainstorming session. And then a group of students who works on the yearbook will work to make those surveys and get them out to all of their classmates and to do that yearbook. And so this yearbook is a wonderful skill. Uh, I very much enjoy it. I've been doing it uh, for many years now because I did yearbook when I was in high school myself. Uh, one of the benefits I learned from it was just a good general idea of how design and layout work, uh, which you can use in the future in any number of situations. Uh, and I also learned how to hit deadlines. And uh, it, the nice thing about a yearbook is it provides a tactical, like a tactile thing that you can show, look at this thing I was involved with that I did. And so you can always have that evidence of the yearbook that you worked on and that you were a part of. And it's, it's not a bad thing to have on a resume for colleges or for future jobs, especially if you're interested in going into journalism or uh, design related fields. And so I hope that you're really interested in your book. If you're not, that's fine. Uh, but if you are, please let me know. You can join the group on Schoology. And our yearbook editors this year will work with us to 
make all the plans. I have three senior editors this year, so seniors who were also editors of the yearbook last year, and they will continue on this year as editors, and they will help support all of the younger students who are interested in joining the yearbook. And we are interested in building some leadership lower in lower levels as well. So if you're a junior this year or a sophomore and you want to learn more about how to be more involved and take more leadership and responsibility over the yearbook in future years, uh, we could start talking about that and how you might become a editor yourself someday. All right, that's all. I hope you'll join the yearbook. Please join the group if you're interested and uh, we'll start planning our first meetings. Take care.